Hi guys, it's MLC here. So welcome to another speed build and another speed build in this neighborhood of Oasis Springs where we live in my Not So Berry Challenge. I figured since I almost have this neighborhood complete with my own builds that it would be fun to add another one and since there was nobody living on this lot I thought I would bulldoze the house that was here, move somebody in and build them a house. So I thought it would also be fun to live next to kind of a kooky old lady since the not so berry challenge is kind of a fun challenge it's a little bit silly i thought that um having an old lady that lives next door who maybe has poker nights maybe drinks a little bit too much maybe flirts with the younger gentleman and probably is just has no shame and is absolutely fabulous maybe a little bit materialistic and yeah, I think she's going to be such a fun character to meet in the Let's Play. We did meet her a tiny bit in the second episode. She was out at the same bar that we were at. We introduced ourselves, but that was about as far as we got because we were a little bit too busy, you know, pulling pranks on vampires and <laughs> being very mischievous as the Minty Sim does. But, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys will like the way this house turns out. It is a little bit quirky and a, it's it's very retro. I was going for a very specific look. I thought that Miss Liz loved the color pink and I was going for a very retro looking home. You know, when you go into a home that was built in the 70s and is still decorated from the 70s and they have like a color that's there's just way too much of one color. Like they have like an entire green bathroom or they have just it's you know what I'm talking about. It's just a little hideous. They got really like ugly linoleum and that kind of stuff. That's what I was going for in Miss Liz's home. So it may be a bit obnoxious with the pink, but I think it works. I think it looks pretty cool. And I figured it's her style. It doesn't have to be our style. Um, and of course, if you download it, you could always change it however you wanted to. It is one bedroom though. So if you wanted it to be a family home, you'd probably have to turn the garage into a bedroom or you could always you know, figure out how to add a second story or something, but I specifically built it for her, and so she lives alone with her little dog, and her dog is her baby. Like, I, I think I even named the dog Princess. <laughs> I did have a lot of fun thinking of her. I didn't record me making her, um, but I will, I was, I'll probably put her up on the gallery if you guys are interested and would like to have her at least in your neighborhoods if you're not interested in playing her, and the house will, of course, be put up on the gallery as well. She does have custom content on her, like some lashes and makeup and stuff, but I'm pretty sure all of her outfits are in-game clothing, so that shouldn't be a problem, but I would definitely double check and make sure she's not naked, otherwise, you know, <laughs> Ms. Liz will show up somewhere all naked, which might be kind of funny, actually, now that I think of it, but, um... Yeah, I'm really excited to play with, um, well not play with her, but you know, get to meet her a little bit more in the Let's Play, and I'm having so much fun with that challenge too, by the way, you guys, and your guys' response and feedback has been nothing but, like, the best ever. I Like I said in the first episode, I was really nervous to begin, like, gameplay on my channel, but you guys have made it so easy, and I'm glad you guys are having fun with it, because I am having so much fun with it, and that's exactly what I wanted this Let's Play to be. You know, I wanted... Partly I wanted it to be for me to get comfortable doing gameplay on my channel, but another part of it is I just wanted something fun to have a good laugh with you guys and be a bit goofy and just enjoy the game for what it is and do all the silly things that it can do. And um, yeah, you guys are definitely making it possible and yeah, it's just the best ever. I'm having a great time with it and, and yeah, I'm glad that you guys are too. And anyways, this house is coming together. We are on the backyard, and this backyard took me forever because I wasn't really sure how to do the porch, so it does change a little bit. And I go back and change the structure of the house a little bit too because when I went like onto the inside, I decided that I needed to shrink it a little bit because I was going to get a very long, narrow living room the way I had it before. And I don't know about you guys, but whenever I build a house and there's like too much dead space in a room, I feel like I have to put something there just to fill up the space. Even if like there's like no need for anything to go there and that's usually what it ends up being like it's just kind of unnecessary to put anything there but you just feel like you have to do it to fill up the dead space and uh it's very frustrating so i didn't want that to happen so i shrunk the house down and so you guys will see that in a little bit like once i get the backyard sorted and stuff but the floor plan was pretty simple so i kept uh, most of it in i think there might have been like a few fiddling around things that i cut out i can't exactly remember because i did edit this on Friday and it's now Monday. I did end up going out of town all weekend. So um, yeah, I didn't end up recording my voiceover right after I edited it. So I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure I left most of everything in. And um, yeah, I like being able to do that, especially on uh, videos where it doesn't take me that long. Like this build really didn't take me that long. And, and that's usually like the first thing that I cut out is floor plans because uh, they take me like an embarrassing amount of time. Like it's 
it's ridiculous how long floor plans take me, but um, with simple houses like this where it's just one story and I only plan on one bedroom, they can be a little bit easier and I, I like to leave them in when I can for those of you who like, like to see floor planning and you know, maybe want it for ideas and stuff like that. Another thing that I did is I used these little pool, um, I'm not sure exactly what there is, but they're in the pool category and they're like little decorations, I guess for the bottom of the pool. I used them to line the sidewalk around the house. I normally use the low lying fence, but I've been noticing in my own gameplay that dogs have trouble walking over it. I, in my current household, I had it like separating the kitchen linoleum from the like wood flooring and the dog was able to get over it but couldn't get back the other way and so he got like trapped in the kitchen and couldn't move so I think I think dogs can't walk over that fence sims can just fine so I assumed that they were going to be able to but I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's just how they purposely program the game so we'll see if that gets changed or not but for now I will just use those um little low-lying things but I think they look pretty good, especially for this house because I got like that really stark white, which I think looks perfectly with this house and kind of has a little bit cartoony, cheeky kind of look that I was going for. And um, But yeah, so I'm just doing the landscaping and everything's quite um, lush looking, I guess. Very kind of tropical plants, very bright colors and of course I put in tons of flamingos <laughs> I like I was like she is totally the type of lady that would put flamingo statues in her yard absolutely so I had a lot of fun with that and I don't think I ever used those I may have used them like once before so I was really happy to be able to use them in this house and yeah I think it turned out really cute I actually really like just despite all the pink in the house I actually really like the way the interior turned out as well so I was pretty pleased with the outcome and hopefully you guys will like it too and I don't know I think she is such a fun sim when I was play testing it I had her create a little poker party where like I set it to elders only so I had all the elders that were in the neighborhood join her her little poker night thing and um like I think I set it as they drink bar drinks jump off the diving board and play play cards and tell jokes something like that but they were such a hoot and I don't play with elderly sims that often so it was it was a fun change just to do the play testing anyways and it was so funny and yeah I think it would be a bit of fun especially if you are into elderly ga gameplay which would that'd be kind of interesting I don't know um I haven't really played with elders that much and like most of my sims I haven't even played to elder age because like usually like I get bored or I get like I, I don't play the game in between too long and so I don't go back to them before they turn into elder age but yeah so that'll be interesting probably in the not so very challenge will be my first time really playing with elderly sims like the only times I've ever played with them is just like little things like this if I build a house for them and I play test it or something but I think they could be quite fun um, but uh, yeah I was gonna give her a garden area but I didn't imagine that Ms. Liz is much of a gardener I imagine Maybe she does a little bit, like she has a few plants for when she's out sunbathing, but I imagine she doesn't do much when it comes to that kind of stuff. She's probably not too much of a homemaker, she's probably not cooking, gardening, and she probably doesn't even clean her pool. She probably hires a pool boy for to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think she is so much fun. And something else I didn't want to forget to mention, I did upload my science lab to the gallery. I'm sorry I wasn't able to do it sooner. I know there were so many of you guys asking for it and wondering where it was. Uh, since I did go out of town, I ended up not being able to upload it as soon as I had wanted to. So I do apologize, but it's up there now if you want to go grab it. I think I'll probably link it in the description of the second episode. That way um, it's a little bit easier for you guys to find. But my uh, origin ID is Simlessy, so you can find me there. Unfortunately, hashtags, I believe, are still not working on the gallery. Um, I know they're working on it, or at least I've heard rumors of them working on it. So I'm sure that'll be updated soon, and then they can work properly. But um, yeah, you can just go to my um, my gallery page and then find it there. Or just, um, yeah, check the second episode for the link. I am will try to remind myself. And yeah, you can always tell me in the comments whenever I forget to do something. Because I will, I will read them all, and... <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'll figure out what, what I forgot to do. Um, but as you can see, the exterior is coming together. I decided to put a little seating area out here with a few little pots of flowers and just super cute. <laughs> I really wanted to put these pots of flowers because they come in so many bright colors. And I was really trying to make this like a bright, sunny sort of house. And I, I think I accomplished it and I think it looks really nice. And her bedroom is right behind those really big windows, which is so lovely. And there is somebody 
running a lawnmower. If you guys can hear that, I apologize, but I've already tried to record this this morning and and I'm probably <laughs> just going to get mad if I have to stop um, and not be able to record again. But um, yeah, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, her bedroom is right through those windows and it's really beautiful, like has such a great view. I mean, probably not the most private thing in the world, but the type of lady I was thinking for like Miss Liz and her personality, I imagine she is not very modest. Like I imagine she does not care. She's like, if they want to look, they can look and you know, I don't care who sees type of, that type of lady. You know what I mean? Like she's just all about having fun. But anyways, we are on into the interior, at least getting it kind of sorted out. I s tried to lay out the different rooms that I wanted and realized where I was going to have the living room was just going to be a little bit awkward and kind of a weird narrow area. So I do go back to the exterior and change it slightly here in just a moment, which I think works a lot better. I do go back in and extend it out one more time, but I think that was the right call because like I said, you just end up with like this this like battle between dead space and adding clutter and you're like not really sure what you should do and <laughs> it's very frustrating at least for me for somebody who likes clutter but doesn't want the clutter to be like too unnecessary I don't know it's it's, it's can be quite the problem so I think that was the best solution and <laughs> but anyways um I also wanted to mention that I got this awesome idea from Irrelevant Sims to shrink down these disc lights. I'm pretty sure the first time I saw her do it was in our collab, the Brindleton Base collab. And I was like, that is pure genius because these are the best lights, at least for lighting, because they have like the whitest light, they're really bright, and one light actually lights up quite a bit of area compared to the other lights. And um, yeah, you shrink them down so they actually don't block your view. And I went back and was like looking at some of my old videos and I'm like, oh my God, the disc lights, they block your view so much. They're so annoying. So I'm so happy that we are able to shrink objects down. And yeah, thank you Aureli for that wonderful idea. I was like, pure genius, love it. And um, couldn't, couldn't wait to use it myself. I think I've used it in a couple builds, but keep forgetting to like mention it to you guys because I figured if you haven't like noticed that I've done it yet and you I don't know it would probably make it really nice for your guys' own building as well um, but I'm just getting the wallpapers and flooring kind of figured out I do go back through and I think I make the hardwood floors white hardwood later on and then I change the tile in the kitchen and the bathrooms and then add some different wallpapers throughout and I also use the bowling stuff pack wallpaper the chevron sort of wooden paneling which I think looks really cool and I leave it white so it still matches like most of the house but it I don't know it adds some like texture and a little bit of interest to some of the walls and so I like that a lot and I do use some stuff from the bowling pack. I mean, mostly it's in the living room because like the coffee table and the entertainment center and the furniture, but if you don't have that pack, it's not like totally necessary if you want to download this house. You could easily replace some of the items because the bulk of the items don't come from that pack. It's, it's essentially just the living room and that chevron pattern and that leaf blower is so loud and I really hope you guys can't hear it. Oh my God, but it's driving me crazy. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. Um, Oh, and I do go back in and change these cabinets to white later on. This gray just really wasn't working. It's not even a gray. It's like a brown. It really wasn't working, especially once I go and change the tile here in a little while. It's just like the white looked a lot better. And that's pretty much the main theme of the house is white and pink. And it's pretty, it's pretty girly. It's pretty cutesy. And I like it. But this is a tiling that I end up going with. And so it's, <laughs> it's a bit silly, but, um. I don't know. I think Ms. Liz would like it, and that's what we were going for. It doesn't have to be our taste. It doesn't have to be my taste. Your taste, it's Ms. Liz's taste, and Ms. Liz likes pink, and she wants a pink house. <laughs> and these parenthood curtains were absolutely perfect. They came in just the right color of pink, like that nice dusty rose pink color was absolutely perfect, and yeah, I like the way it turns out. I think if I was to be, I don't know, maybe obsessed with the color, I wouldn't mind living in a house like this, but... <laughs> Actually, no, I don't think I could ever live in a house like this, but it's pretty fun for building in anyways. It makes me kind of feel like a kid because I grew up in a house that was built in like 72. My parents had like yellow linoleum. They had like this horrid carpet and now they have hardwood floors. They still have remnants of the carpet in certain rooms. And I think the one of the bathrooms still has the linoleum. But um, yeah, they've upgraded a little bit since my childhood, but I have been in so many homes that are they're just very retro at least when I was a kid especially because I was born in the late 80s and so I grew up all through the 90s and 
people definitely had some pretty horrific interior design like you would you know go into like thinking back on some of those houses is like how would a designer ever choose like pink bathtubs or you know pink tiling and stuff it's so funny and so fun and i absolutely love it and yeah so i had a lot of fun picking out all the different decorations for this house and but um anyways we're just cluttering up the kitchen i didn't add too much clutter because like i said i don't imagine miss liz to be too much of a homemaker so she probably doesn't spend too much time in the kitchen she probably orders out a lot or just goes out to eat with her friends or you know maybe orders things for you know I was gonna say bingo, but that would be so cool if we had bingo, but poker night, we have poker. Um, if maybe she like orders takeout and stuff for everybody for poker night and definitely has her bar drinks. Like I imagine Ms. Liz loves a good cocktail and <laughs> she, I just love that character. I think it is so fun and I can't wait for us to get to meet her a little bit more in my gameplay. Maybe we'll just stop by her house. Maybe we'll bake her some cookies or something and just stop over and see what she's all about. Maybe she'll play us a hand of poker or something. That would be so much fun. Um, something I was struggling with was this dog food bowl. I had no idea where to place it. I ended up leaving it by the front door, but it just didn't really fit in the like kitchen area, which is where I wanted to put it, but it just didn't really work. But oh well, that'll do. And um, we are on into the living room now, and I really love the way the living room turned out. It's so bright and airy. I mean, this whole... This whole build is pretty bright and airy. I was going for a very soft look and I think I achieved it, but this is a bowling stuff pack uh, furniture. just works so perfectly in this obnoxiously pink rug and it's just fabulous. <laughs> I think it is absolutely so fun. And one of the base game uh, bookcases I end up adding in the kit or in the living room as well and I think it matches the bowling stuff pack furniture really nicely and yeah, I just like all the different little decorations and it's just, it's pretty cute and hopefully you guys will like it too. I mean, I know it's probably not everybody's taste and it's probably a bit silly, but it's a bit of fun, I think. And yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I have been trying to build other things recently and I've been having some severe builder's block like all this morning. Well, earlier this morning I tried to do this voiceover and I just, I think it was just too early and I wasn't really feeling it and... It, I was just having a hard time with it, so I just decided to step away from it a while, and so I tried to build, and everything I build, I just hate. I was trying to build, like, traditional homes, and I don't know what my problem is, so uh, it was very frustrating, so maybe I should, I don't know, look at Pinterest some more. I really want, need to record another episode of the Not So Berry, so maybe I'll do that instead. Um, I don't know how much more I'll be able to do for the rest of the day, but... Uh, it's so frustrating when you want to build and you feel like you want to build, but you just can't make anything work. It's uh, so frustrating. I mean, it happens though. Everybody has some sort of creative block sometimes, so, but it can be very irritating. <laughs> but here I am adding a couple more flamingos because they are awesome and I never ever use them, so I had to add more. Um, and I love this little bar area. It has a few little like kind of, has, well, it has the bowling sort of display decoration but it also has like the neon sign that you would see in like a bar and I don't know maybe Miss Liz won one at like a bingo night or something and uh just hung it up on her wall because she's just wonderful like that <laughs> and I also end up adding a walk-in closet in this hallway because I really wasn't sure what to add in here and I don't know hallways can be pretty difficult. I mean, this one is a pretty simple hallway, so it worked out pretty easily, but here's when I thought that she should probably have a bookcase somewhere in the house, and then I ended up adding one in the living room, and this ends up being one of my favorite spots in the house, just adding this one little bookcase right here. It just, it looks so nice with the little decorations on it, and it just, it's so cute. It just, ah, I think it, I just love it, and I really like that picture that hung above it. It works really nicely, even though it's not necessarily very pink I feel like the colors in it are a little bit more on the red side I felt like it worked really nicely especially with having like the mirror on the adjacent wall I just I don't know it it worked for me and I was pretty happy with it but this is gonna be the garage and I really wasn't sure what to add in here but I knew I wanted her to play poker and have poker nights with her friends so I figured I might as well just add the poker table in here and something that I really wish we had was different swatches to that poker table there's like three and I mean they're all they're all okay they're not like the worst like color choices in the world but I wish we had some more a little bit more variety with that and something else that I wish we had more variety of was the don't wake the llama table like why can't we put the don't wake the llama game on other tables it's like only that table can we even use that table as a regular table or is it specifically for games but I don't know 
it's this it's too traditional and you can't really use it I mean you can but it just kind of maybe would stick out in more modern houses or more I don't know I just wish we had more variety for that and more games would be nice too but I'm happy that we have games in general and uh, I liked adding that little floaty and net out there I thought that was really cute and I kind of just add garage stuff things that I look like might go in a garage I just wasn't really sure what to add in here but I wanted it to be decorated I didn't want it just to be an empty room with a poker table in it and thought that'd be a bit silly and but like I said if you need another bedroom this would work as a bedroom and yeah, you could turn it into a family house if you want to, but Ms. Liz's bedroom is super cute and it's super pink and I used some stuff from uh, the Vintage Glamour pack and I, because I used the vanity table because of course she's got to do her makeup and look very nice. Um, but something that I really like was the, the picture that I hung above the bed. It just looks really, it just matched absolutely perfect and I loved it so much and it's just so pinky and got the little hints of turquoise and ah, it's just it's so nice <laughs> so cute um, and I really like the view to the backyard area it's 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 kind of sweet and I do add like makeup clutter all over the place because I imagine she's the type of old lady that has lots of jewelry and lots of perfumes and lots of lipsticks and kind of like how my grandma is my grandma has lots of makeup and when I was a kid she would always um, have these like really big jewelry boxes that had like tons of gaudy jewelry in it that weren't like really nice jewelry so she'd let me play with it it was just like things that she's collected over the years and I get to try them on and like do my lipstick and my you know eyeshadow and just play dress up and she had like fur coats and stuff too I don't think they were real fur at least I hope not but um but yeah I would be able to dress up in those and it was such a fun time <laughs> my grandma's hilarious um I'm when I'm moving I'm going to be closer to her and I talked to her on the phone today and she's so excited and I'm so happy to be able to spend more time with my grandma because she's the only one that I have my other grandma died before I was even born and uh and then both my grandparents grandfathers have passed as well so uh she's she's my little grandma and she's a hoot and she I don't know Ms. Liz kind of made me think of my grandma because my grandma is quite um into appearances and very uh she, I don't think she's quite like Ms. Liz, but I think they have similarities. And I think my grandma would totally live in a house like this. Like, my grandma would be all about this house, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, it's funny. But anyways, we are on into the bathroom, and it is the last room of the house, and I thought this shower worked absolutely perfect. It matched. I was like, yes, it came in the, like, the best swatch possible. So, like, that Parenthood shower is, like, the most usable shower ever. And um, I end up merging the sink into a little like side table and that works as well. I did play test it. Um, sometimes if you do try to do that and the sink isn't close enough to you, like if it's shoved too far into the table, then it won't work. But um, yeah, it worked out just fine and she was able to wash her hands and stuff like that. So that's perfect. And um, I just add some clutter on the counter, a few little more makeups and I don't know, flowers and stuff. Just bathroom stuff <laughs> nothing too exciting but um yeah I think it came out really nice but we are almost up onto the screenshots I just finished this room up and I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you guys are having an awesome day and hopefully you guys enjoy the screenshots and yeah thank you guys so much for watching please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon all right bye